Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hey girlies! So as you can see, we are not in any regular schmegular room. I am a mother now! We are in my daughter's nursery. Um, if we're gonna be real, I'm not the best when it comes to decor. I'm not the best when it comes to putting things together, so I tried my best. You guys saw part one of the nursery being put together, and it did not get touched until like two weeks before she was born. So I kind of rushed and threw everything together and tried to make it look kind of cute. Well, if you guys asked for a nursery tour, so I thought I would film this video. Sorry, I'm not doing anything crazy or doing the most today, which I might still do the most somehow. But this is a memory. This is something I want to have, you know, for the future to look back on. So I hope you somewhat enjoyed this video. If you're a new mom, hopefully you find something that you didn't know about and you're gonna go pick it up so it's helpful in some way. But before we get started with today, Today's video I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor today Green Chef so if you've never heard of Green Chef Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every kind of lifestyle and that includes vegan vegetarian paleo and keto every week you'll be able to choose from nine recipes to have them delivered directly to your door hand-picked everything the ingredients come pre-measured perfectly portioned and mostly prepped so you don't really have to do much work and it makes cooking at home super easy and you'll discover new recipes that you never would have tried before as you guys know i'm a new mom so i'm finding myself not having as much time as i did before to meal prep go grocery shopping and just prep my food throughout the week so green chef definitely takes that stress off of my shoulders with their wide variety of high quality clean ingredients like their organic non-gmo sustainably sourced produce you can feel great about everything that is touching your table and y'all, when I say this stir fry hit, it hit. It was so bomb. So if you guys are interested in checking out Green Chef, you can go to greenchef.us slash simplynessa100 and the code will get you $100 off plus free shipping. Once again, the code is simplynessa100. Thank you so much, Green Chef, for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's go ahead and get into this little nursery tour. Who would have thought I'd be a mom? Not me. <laughs> like, do I give mom vibes, you guys? Like, do I give you the vibe? <laughs> mom body, though. So starting at the top, we got a clock because my girl needs to know how to tell time so ain't nobody waste it, okay? <laughs> and we have her diaper bags hung up. These are both from Target. Diaper bags are from Amazon. Shout out to everybody that got something off the baby registry. It means the world because you don't realize how much stuff you really need until you actually have the baby here. So everything that you guys have like sent has made a huge difference. And even if you weren't able to send anything, you supporting my channel, coming back and watching my videos, is just as much support. So I appreciate it. I feel like I'm talking so fast. And honestly, it's because she's in the other room sleeping and I'm just trying to get this done while she's asleep. So are these heart stickers, I got those from Amazon. It was only a few bucks and I had enough to go all over the room, but only needed them for a few sections. So definitely recommend those. All of the artwork and decorations that you see on the wall are from a place called At Home. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have them in the East Coast, but we have them in the West Coast. And all of the little decorations are around $10, so it's super inexpensive. Um, this was from Miss Kelly Sauer. Thanks, girl, for the little gift. Let's go into her closet. If you see these stickers on Amazon or Wayfair, don't buy them. I have to restick them on every single day, and it's super annoying, but they're cute, so I just leave them there. Um, up here at the top are some shoes that she's not going to be able to wear for at least the next year or two. So they're still in their boxes up there, but she has a couple little pairs of Nikes, as you can see. Um, something to wrap her around my body. So if I don't want to have her in her baby carriage, I could have that. Um, this was actually a basket full of Easter stuff that her great grandma sent for her for Easter, even though she wasn't born yet. And now it's full of a bunch of stuff that I don't want her to have access to. So like creams and stuff that she could possibly get poisoned by. That Or like a thermometer, just like stuff I don't want her to stick in her mouth is up there. So starting in her closet, these are all her little onesie pajamas. Um, I haven't washed any of these yet, so these are like 
in the corner, but she can't fit any of them either way. Um, these are all of her pacifier holders. She has every color, <laughs> so they can match all her outfits. And then down here, I have her little shoes that she will actually be able to fit in sooner than later. So we have some like slippers in the back, her little vans, her little sunglasses. This was full of pacifiers child i have to come in here and grab one every single day they go missing i don't know if the dogs are somehow getting to them like i don't know how they go missing under the couch under the bed um some more little shoes her little sun hats i can't wait till she's a big head and she could fit in these i mean she got a big head right now but not big enough and then we have all like not a video of me roasting my own child <laughs> like for half of it like i'm sorry girl i love you and then we have some of her little hair bows and then this actual organizer I got from Amazon, I believe it was like $50, which I'm super cheap, so I thought it should be like $20 or $30, <laughs> but it's actually really good quality um, and has all her little stuff in it. So this is for her middens, which are also all over the house, her pants, her socks. This used to be organized and now we're just grabbing from it, but these are her onesies. Some more onesies, socks, more socks, hair bows, and little hats and hair bows. So this is some more clothes that, once again, she's not going to fit in any of this for a very long time. Most of the clothes we got from like Marshalls, Ross, um, Kohl's. They have a lot of like sales all the time. So most of her stuff came from there. A lot of the stuff was under $10 a piece. So going down here, um, these are some nursing pillows that I just stick underneath my armpits when I'm holding her at nighttime. My arms don't feel like they're about to fall off because you will be surprised how a under 10 pound baby will feel like you were holding 30 pound weights. And don't look at my nails, okay? <laughs> and then I have a extra rug in here. So whenever she's actually going to be playing on the floor and stuff when she's older, I want to have that out there. So it's clean and I know that our feet haven't been all over it, which I'm not a germaphobe, but like, you know, just to have. Some extra wipes and diapers. Um, half of her bath stuff is in my bathroom. So like her actual bathtub that she uses. We have a bath seat over here, but she can't sit up yet. So, and then that we can't use until she sits up as well, which this is so cute and it's, infla it's a inflatable duck bathtub, but it also has this feature on the bottom of it. So if the heart, um, lights up or starts glowing and it says hot the water's too hot for the baby so i thought that was a cool little feature some little washcloths um these are her bibs um all these organization things like these white ones that you'll see in the room are from target they're only a few dollars some linen for her crib and her bassinet and that used to be full of blankets but they've kind of ended up all over the house and then just some toys that she won't be able to actually play with for a long time so over here we have this little measuring thing this came from kohl's i found this in the sales section for literally like three dollars um i just have to get some sort of little clip to hook on so we could keep documenting how tall she's getting um these are her recent purchases hers and not mine <laughs> like i totally didn't swipe my card on these which by the way i did not pay 42 dollars for this this was like 75 percent off child i went 50 dollars so i went ahead and got that for her and then okay these were a little expensive like i might have cashed out a little bit <laughs> like don't look at my nails look at these like these are so freaking cute they're the baby version of the little eggs that i have so she has those and she better make them fit until she's like 10 and also got her the little baby <laughs> slippers and then some more a little streetwear clothes like she really does she need any of this no so this right here is a kick and play piano gym and maracas so if you see all her toys she has a lot of like music based stuff and that was not intentional so if she somehow ends up turning into Beethoven or turning into Megan Thee Stallion. This is why. <laughs> right over here, we have Miss Thing's crib. I don't know what I was doing when I bought this. Like I thought it was gonna be a moment, but it's just kind of giving me American Horror Story carnival tent. And I'm just gonna leave it there. That's from Ikea, by the way, which I'm not sure why I'm saying that because I don't really recommend this circus item. Her crib is from Wayfair. It has a changing table attached to it. This is from Amazon, it has music and it spins and all that. Um, the whole like bed sheets, 
the skirt, all that is from Amazon. That actually has her name on it, so I'm not going to move it, but her grandpa, Anthony's dad, got her a ton of little, like, custom stuff, like blankets, bows, socks, hats with her hair on, or with her hair, with her name on it, so I put all that stuff away right before filming this, and also, um, Anthony's stepmom actually got us something with her name on it, so... That just came in yesterday and I'm gonna hang that up after this video as well because I'm gonna be dramatic. I'm gonna have my Beyonce moment and I'm gonna have a name reveal. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. And then moving over here, like I said, she has her little changing area. So this is full of newborn diapers and then most of them are actually in the bedroom. Um, all of her wipes are on the other side of the room, but then we got her other ones, Anthony is obsessed with getting her things with like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse on them. So those actually are like little Mickey Mouse diapers. <laughs> those were his when he was a baby. So that's why those were two random kind of stank looking penguins are sitting there. So going back here, I used to stick one of these in my bag downstairs actually, but these are pacifier and bottle wipes because you know how babies like to throw their pacifier. So that's good to just have for travel. We have some boogie wipes. Um, this is a portable diaper dispenser, so the actual bags have Arm & Hammer baking soda so they won't stink if you're out in public and you don't know how, how or you don't have anywhere to throw them. Um, these are diaper pail refill bags. Those go to my diaper genie. This is where her diapers go, so I don't have to run to a bigger trash can. I could hear her screaming, so I'm going to have to come back. <laughs> Okay, we're back in business. She is now in her crib, as you can see. <laughs> um, little Miss Girl was in her bassinet in the other room, but she started crying, so she's in here now. We outside. So this is on the other side. So I already showed you guys all the diapers and little things that we have back there. Here are her curtains. I got these from Ikea as well. Super uneven. Am I gonna fix it though? Probably not. <laughs> More of the stickers. This is just a giant teddy bear that I bought my... <laughs> I bought that teddy bear for myself because um, somebody that I was dating <laughs> told me that they were gonna get me a teddy bear for Valentine's Day and they told me that they sent it and it never showed up. And I proceeded to keep asking for the teddy bear for the next couple of months and it never came in. <laughs> so I bought myself one. That's on self-love, period. <laughs> Moving on over here, so I have some more little decorations, bless you darling, um, some more little decorations and stuff on the wall. Once again, they're from the at home store. I got this at home years ago and I got the rest of this from at home just a couple months ago. So they still have a lot of little things in this style. I don't know why I put that up there. That looks, it, it don't really look right, but I didn't have any photos of her at the time, which I just recently pick some of them up from CVS. I got some prints made, so I need to switch that out to something actually cute. Um, bless you, she's just sneezing back there. Um, over here, this is gonna be her little like reading section, her little library. So I'm thinking of putting another shelf at the bottom so she can, you know, actually be able to like grab stuff down. Um, but I'm scared that she'll just like pull it off the wall. Um, but her chair is from Amazon. Looks like that's a rocking chair. Got that from at home. Um, got this little cloud light. So like I said, this is going to be our reading corner. So that's going to be all the light that we have for right here. Bless you, my darling. Um, looks like that. And then I actually got her a full-size lamp, but I don't have any light bulbs, so I haven't put it up yet. And then this is a play pad. So just like I said earlier with the rug, We'll have that on the floor so she's not directly on the floor she has a ton of these little security blankets not sure why um got her this little doll i thought these were so cute they have them in different you know ethnicities skin tones or whatever at target so i got her the one that i felt like would match her the most she has one of these little annoying ass toys that every baby has like i love how i know that they're annoying but i'm still getting it for her and then she has a bunch of little baby like music toys and stuff that are in here down here this is some stuff that my friend also got her 
Um, like I showed you guys earlier, that bathtub thing, this is actually one that you could just like handhold and put into like any bath. That one's attached to it. But it's a little duck that tells you if the water is okay or if it's too hot. This I thought was so special. This was also something one of my friends sent and it's basically a journal but from a mother or a father to their daughter. So I'm gonna start writing in here. Um, like right before putting her to bed or after putting her to bed. I'm just gonna write like what we did that day so one day she, when she's older, she can read them. Because I know that as an adult, I love reading my old journals and just kind of looking back on that time of my life. So it'll be a time that she won't remember and I'll be able to, you know, document that for her. And this is her little scrapbook. This is the one that I've actually started. So it says like, oh, like about mommy. And then like some pictures of us in there about daddy. <laughs> some pictures of Anthony. And then it's gonna be like some photos of us so far. I love how that's the only photo I have in there. But yeah, this is gonna be her little scrapbook. Just, I love it. Said her books. And then over here we have some burp cloths. Those are just sitting in there because I've been using them, writing in her like book and stuff. This is another memory book, it has like stickers and stuff. This is like one month, two month. So I'm gonna be using those to take photos of her in. I have some teething toys, which I know I'm not gonna need for a long time, but just to have them ready. These are all sleeping things. So like little night lights, this lamb is cry activated. So it turns on when the baby's crying and then turns off when they stop. Then I have some bath toys. A couple baby towels and some wipes and i think that is pretty much it but little miss thing also woke up so she's sitting here propped down in her crib so i have to tend to her like the maid that i am like, i really do feel like a butler thank you so much green chef for sponsoring today's video check them out i will have all discount codes and links in the description below as well as on the screen and i will see you guys all in my next video